So the battery died, completely messed up. And we don't have $10,000 to spend right now on a battery. So we finally got our battery. The boat, we're gonna put them like this. I'm Andrea, that's Alejo, and those are our pairs, Ozzy and Echo. We left the corporate world in Miami to become digital nomads and chase the wind kiteboarding. Join us as we sail an adventure in our dream home, Hakuna. So we're here, people, at the boat. Reporting live. Reporting live. After receiving our new batteries from Big Battery, we headed to the boat and proceeded with the installation. Good baby, good! You got this! It was a tough job for Alejo since he had to carry each 100 pound battery by himself over five times in order to begin the installation. But the clear water of the Bahamas was really keeping us motivated to complete the installation as soon as possible. We had been ready to leave Miami for over a month now, so we were totally ready for a new anchorage. choose these batteries so first and foremost we were going to buy these batteries ourselves and the main reason why we were attracted to them right away two main reasons the first one 10-year warranty company in the United States they're located in California we don't have to deal with the whole reach out to someone in Europe again but it's someone in the US they speak our language we can communicate a lot easier second reason is the price so right now we will be installing with these four batteries, we will be having 16 kilowatts of power. Am I right? Am I saying it right? 16 kilowatts? Yeah. Yeah, of course I'm saying it right. Why do I doubt myself? Each battery is uh, 170 amp hours at, at 24 volts and the price is about $1,600, which if you add all four batteries, it's around nearby six thousand dollars and it's still a lot better we get more power than we had before with our lg battery which we had 9.6 i believe it was another thing that we really like is that if there is a cell unbalance which is what happened with us with the lg battery you can replace the cell okay so the battery doesn't completely go bad but you can actually replace the cell with lg if there's a battery, if there's a cell imbalance, the only ones that can fix it are the LG manufacturers because they need to take it through special machi machines. We did all the research in case if we wanted to fix it. And the problem is that these cells are, um, basically the cells are just tiny pressured lithium batteries. Once you remove them and you open up, they expand. And so unless you have the, uh, the, the machinery to fix it, you won't be able to put them back together. So that was not an option with our LG batteries. With this ones, you can just remove the cell, send it to Big Battery, Big Battery will send you a brand new one, stick it in there, you're good to go. So we're trying to go as simple as possible. The BMS on these batteries is also extremely simple, so we don't have to deal with the BMS going bad because it's just simple. All it does is the mission for the BMS is protect the battery so nothing happens to it like which is what happened with our LG batteries. And the last reason why we really like these batteries and we why this we decided to go with big battery is because we have uh, we're going to connect them in pair. So uh, we connect the two 24 volt batteries and the other two 24 volts so that it makes a 48 volts which is what our boat needs. Um, I'm not an expert in this. Please take everything that I say with a grain of salt until you hear Alejo speaking. But <laughs> We will um, connect them together and if one of the battery fails then you have one pair that stops working but you have the other pair that is still working and that's still 8.6 kilowatts which can still run our entire boat. So that is the reason why. Now let's go to Alejo. Yes. Okay. What's up people? So what we're doing here is we're making the platform for the batteries this one the old one was this one right here 
I'm just gonna make it bigger. So after realizing that the batteries from Big Battery were the batteries that we wanted because it was within our price range because it's actually, the, they're the most affordable ones in the United States, I would say. If something happens to them, the warranty, they will still maintain your warranty even though they're installed on a boat, which again, is something that for many other companies, it might not be the case. So we reached out to Big Battery. So they decided to send us two of the batteries for no cost and we paid for the other two batteries. Now, the point of doing this is obviously so we would tell you guys our experience with Big Battery, how it goes, how we feel about these batteries after we do the installation and throughout if you continue following us for whatever song we're gonna be sailing the boat and living on Hakuna and so you'll know how the batteries from Big Battery work and the quality they're lo if they're long lasting and yeah so let's go let's keep going with the installation so you want to tell me what you're doing right now yes talk to me so we're gonna put the bus bar where we're gonna connect the batteries and from the bus bar we're gonna go to to the inverter we have a problem and it's that the drill is completely dead, right? Yes, uh, we have to do everything by hand. Because we can, since we don't have a battery, we don't have uh, energy to charge the drill, so <laughs> that's gonna suck. We did not think about it before. Okay, so he has installed the bus bar, is that what it's called? Yes, the positive neg the positive and negative. running out of battery so hopefully we, we can drill all the holes before it runs out so why are you cutting that cable this is the negative cable that goes to the battery so we're gonna put a shunt a shunt is something to so we can see the voltage and how much battery we have so we're gonna be installing that. Thank you. And I don't have the proper tool to cut the cable. So it's very free. You got this baby. I believe in you. I believe in you and all of you to believe in you. So Alejo got those cables through Amazon because the cables that Big Battery normally sends out don't have the gauge, is that what it's called? Yeah, we're just gonna play it safe because they have a six wire, six gauge wire and we're gonna put the one zero. So we're, they're pretty thick. Because our inverter is 6,000 6, watts, watts, right? So yeah, so our amperage it's pretty high. We can do like 120 amps, 120 amps. And our inverter is like six feet away from the batteries. So we don't wanna get too much resistance. So these are the cables. Which are about the same thickness as this one, right? Yeah. The same? The same. This thing. What are you gonna do with that? A new tool. It's a cringer? A crimper. Oh, a crimper. hydraulic crimper. So we can put these things on. Okay. <laughs> okay, Mr. Crimper, do it. you have to do all that stuff I read a lot he reads manuals for fun yes. I could never be like him <laughs> but that's what he enjoys doing Ooh. okay so what did you install there that's the shunt for the battery it's a battery monitor 
And what is it going to tell us? Is it going to tell us the capacity, the charge? Yes, charge if, if we're getting energy coming in into the batteries, if it's anything is coming out, uh, how much time we have on the batteries at the current rate of each discharge. Awesome. Um, that did not come with the batteries that we purchased separately on Amazon. Yes. Just saying, in case anybody cares. All right, so it's been like three hours, a good three hours, right? Or two? No, I don't know, like three. I don't know. You don't know, and I don't know. And he's still our technician. Our technician? Our technician. <laughs> our long term technician is still working on the batteries. You have already installed two batteries? Well, not installed. I'm no. doing the platform. Oh, the platform. So I had to raise this battery because another battery goes here. And the, the connector is right here. And the one that goes here is going to be also raised. So the connector goes here. So blah, 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 blah. Brilliant. Oh, shit. You You're that. brilliant. So how brilliant. do you feel? Are you excited about your batteries? Very excited. Are you excited? Very excited. I'm hungry. Very I've never felt so... So hungry? Yeah. But we have lots of food here. But we don't have a stove. We don't have any food from the freezer. So I don't know. Unless I want to eat like canned cold cold canned beans doesn't seem too tasty but we're still here we might be all night here but i can't complain if he's not complaining i cannot how dare me i'm about to <laughs> how do you feel baby are you exhausted yes but we're almost there right yes. it's already starting to look like a battery bank so we are about to pick inside the battery. Ta da! What do you like about this battery that you didn't like about the other ones? That you can actually open it up, see what's going on. Like, if one of the cells goes bad, you can just take out the cell, put a new one. Couldn't you do that with the other battery? With the LG? No. Yeah. Why? It's sealed. Oh, it's sealed? Yeah. So you could never take out one of the sails? No. If you take out, like, the battery apart, you have to, like, rip it apart. Anything else? What do you not like about these batteries that you liked about the other ones? No, I like this one's better. You do? And it has a 300 amp fuse on each battery, which is really good. Why? Just in case it doesn't damage the battery, like, the fuse goes out, that's it. Done. Done. Now you have to make all the connections. We're gonna make two 48 volt banks. So each battery is 24 volts. So we're gonna connect them in series to create 48 volts. And then we're gonna do parallel. So we keep the 48s, but we increase the amp hours and they go directly to the inverter. Okay, so talk to me. Are we done? We are done connecting. We are yeah. done after so many hours. I don't know how many, but it's a lot of hours. 
It was a lot of work, guys. A lot of work, but we did it. And I learned a lot because I didn't know anything about this. I learned how to crimple a cable. And I also learned how to put a jacket a on a crimper. cable. <laughs> a jacket. So what we did here was connecting four batteries. So two banks, 24, 24. 24 24 create 48 bolts here 48 bolts here and then we put them in parallel which we created one big 48 volt battery that you can see there. we connected this two together this two together and then they went to the bus bars bus bars. Bus, bars. bus bars and then they went to the inverter over there yes. and sorry show you my ugly foot anything Perfect. else you have to add that's it we're gonna turn it on see are you excited see what happens all right, so turn on the battery. So first, just turn on the batteries, right? Yes. Okay, so we're going to turn on the first battery here. Turn on the second battery. Um, the fourth. Oh, you already turned on those. No. Yes, you did. Legend, open no system It shows. They all show twenty six point two point three. Yeah. So that's good. I think so. Yeah. So we're gonna do commissioning on the inverter. Okay. And then, ta, 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 ta. And then we start putting loads or generator or whatever. Yes. No, pero con el inverterito que esto pues. Ya, ahora vamos a hacer el commissioning. Okay. Okay. Pues el commissioning hay que aprender algo. I think it's from the computer. Good morning everyone! So I just wanted to let you know that this morning we were finally able to set up the inverter with the batteries. So we have an SMA inverter and because these batteries don't have a way to communicate with the inverter, uh, we actually have to set them up on the inverter as uh, flooded lead batteries. So it was a different type of configuration and that's why it took us so long to figure it out. Uh, but we finally did it so we're good, we have the batteries installed. We have to finish doing a few things, but we're going to head back home, bring all the stuff like the freezers, things, refrigerator, and see if we make it just in time to leave for the Bahamas on Thursday. And we still have to fix the, those uh, blocks to make sure that they're tied together so the batteries don't start just vibrating or anything like that because they're not supposed to do that. So once we come back, We'll tighten everything so that the batteries are very still and very steady. Bring all the grocery stuff that we took back to Alejo's parents' house. And we're going to put it back on the refrigerator, which we have our freezer and our refrigerator already working. And that should be that. Bring the dogs. I'll be ready to head to the Bahamas on Thursday. Today is Tuesday. And we're so ready for it. I don't think we've ever been more ready. Excuse me. We're so ready to leave to the Bahamas! <laughs> How ready are you? Very ready. Are you happy? Very happy. That you have batteries? Yes. You have a functioning boat again. Functioning boat, yes. Yeah? No. Do you Please love me? A step out of the vehicle, ma'am. Do you love me? Yes. How much? A lot. Si. No, sí. Los papeles, papeles. Papeles, todo eso lo tienes tú. Baby. Dime, dime, dime. Talk to me, talk to me. So, we're getting ready. Attempt number two. <laughs> Attempt number two. We have two cars full of things again. Woo! A lot of bags, a lot of stuff. Documents, we have, what is that? Custom. That is customs, the documents customs. for customs, for customs. immigration. We have all the food again. Seems like we're finally leaving for the Bahamas. Are we leaving? <laughs> I think so. I mean, we already paid our health visas. We had our COVID test. We uh, processed the health visas. We paid for the health visas. We have the dog's documents. Um, we, what else do we need to do? We have the battery installed. We have to just secure it. Uh, we have our clothes. We have. It seems like we have everything this time. Now we're heading to Miami to the boat. We're so ready. I'm so excited. Uh, I think this is, oh my god! Fingers crossed. We don't have to come back here to Miami in a really long time. <laughs> right? All right. 
bags. We're bringing everything back on board. Lots of bags. Alejo is on his way here. Garden now. Yes. Why do we have such a big garden? We have like 20 plants. Why do we have so many plants? Because my parents. They parents. got really overly excited giving yeah. us plants. <laughs> That's our tomato, which is giant. Yeah. Are you sad to be no. leaving? No, are you sad? No. <laughs> what type of question is this? We're so ready. We've never been this ready. I, I said that last time, but this time is for real. We've never been this ready. We got so many things. We're so ready. Prepare food provisions, fun stuff to do like scuba, diving, spear fishing, all the things that you can imagine. I hope. And you know what? After spending such a long time in the north where the water is like almost black, I think this time we're gonna appreciate the Bahamas so much more and we're gonna wanna spend all of the time in the water. I hope so. So, yeah. This is, do you guys eat potatoes? That's a lot of potatoes. A lot of potatoes. Why do you have so many potatoes? Because our dog eats po ah! <laughs> Because our dog eats potatoes. <laughs> Dude, that would have been one million hits on YouTube. Right there. Are you guys happy to go to the Bahamas? Woo! Bahamas! Que vayo! Que vayo! Que vayo a los niños! Que les vayo a los niños! Alright, so what am I doing? I have to put all this food away. Meanwhile, while I put all the food away, all this stuff, plants, make the boat look good and ready and prepare for the passage, what Alejo is going to be doing is... I'm gonna secure the batteries so they don't move around. If we have some shaky shake, they, they don't shake. And how are you gonna do that? Sticks. Just securing it with like four sticks around it? Yeah. Oh, perfect. Anything else you have to do? No. Cool. See you later. Hey guys, so we're gonna keep getting ready, and it's time to say bye bye, Miami. <laughs> <laughs>